Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Church of the Holy Apostles in Virginia Beach. I am Jane Tucker, and today is Sunday, January 8th, the Epiphany of the Lord. We were established 45 years ago to be a symbol of ecumenism, honoring both the Roman Catholic and the Episcopal traditions. We have one worship service with two liturgies. Our worship is designed for you to experience both traditions. As a sign of our commitment to Christian unity, we ask you to remain for both liturgies. Today, Monsignor Raphael Pepper will celebrate Mass. Father Mario Melendez will celebrate Episcopal Holy Eucharist. This service is being live streamed. We welcome everyone here and those watching at home. For those watching from outside Virginia Beach, we invite you, if you are ever in the resort city, to stop by and experience our service. At communion time, if you are, if you are not receiving communion, please come forward for a blessing. For those here, we ask that you silence your cell phones. Please rise and greet those around you. Now, please join in singing our gathering song. Morning. Good morning. And together we say a very good morning to our brothers and sisters joining us from your homes. Good morning to you all. We celebrate the Feast of Epiphany today. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Let us now call to mind our sins as we prepare for the celebration of the Eucharist. You were sent to heal the contract of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Glory of God. 
let us pray. Lord our God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, grant in your mercy that we who know you already by faith may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Will the uh, children and their leaders come forward for the children's liturgy? A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem, your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overthrow, overflow. For the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you, dromedaries from Midian and Ephah, and all from Sheba shall come, bearing gold and frankincense, and praising and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the God. judgment endow the king and with your justice the king's son he shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment every nation on earth will adore you lord every nation on earth reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem saying, where is the newborn king of the Jews? You saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word so I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star. And on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed from their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's feast, the feast of the Epiphany of the Lord, the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is Christmas, and the feast of the baptism of the Lord, which is tomorrow, are a trilogy of celebrations referred to as the Manifestation Feasts. The Feast of Epi Epiphany, my dear friends, commemorates the visit of the Magi, also variously known as the three wise men, the three kings, or the three astronomers. Epiphany is a traditional day in some areas where baptisms are done, where homes are blessed, and compounds as well, and where Christmas gifts are exchanged in many places. Now, a medieval legend gives the names of the Magi as Gaspar, Melchior, and Balthazar. And other traditions give different names to the Magi, while artists have portrayed them as coming from three different parts of the world who came together for one purpose. Gaspar is usually represented as an oriental man and Batlasa is depicted as a young African or a Moor. I'm sure many of you, of you have seen the epic movie Ben-Hur, and in that movie you see, you see one of them 
Balthazar as an old man who went back to Palestine to look for the adult Jesus. In the Gospel of Luke, my dear friends, these dignitaries use their knowledge, their mystical insight and wisdom to travel from the east to Jerusalem, following a brass star to pay homage to the infant Jesus. Do we use our knowledge? Do we use our mystical insight? Do we use our wisdom to look for the light, the light of Christ, the light that gives meaning to our existence, the light that fulfills us as real human beings created by God? Now these kings were the first to worship the infant Jesus as king of the Jews. However, in a divine dream, as we heard from the gospel, they received the revelation not to return or report to Herod, which resulted in the gospels of Matthew, gospel of Matthew about the killing of the holy innocents. Now, ironically, while the Jewish people, even still today, are expecting the Messiah, God had revealed the savior of the world to the Gentile people. Now the word epiphany is derived from the Greek word epiphania, which means manifestation or revelation or appearance. And in ancient times, the word was associated with a visiting king when he was visiting the province or a vassal state, the people prepared for his appearance. And in Christianity, it is the revelation or the appearance of God, what in theological parlance is known as the incarnation. Incarnation in the person of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And John tells us, the word became a human being and full of grace and truth, he lived amongst us. He is revealed as the source of life through whom every life and indeed everything in the universe came into existence. In the Eastern Church, where the feast really originated in the late second century, Epiphany is celebrated at the baptism of Christ. And we know that at Jesus' baptism, John the, baptized, uh, John the Baptist, baptizing Jesus, proclaimed that Jesus was the Son of God when he saw the Spirit come down on Jesus in the form of a dove, and when the Holy Spirit appeared again in the form of a dove, and God himself said, you are my beloved son, I am pleased with you. The story of the major, my dear friends, also demonstrates how God's salvation plan is set for humanity. Humanity that is always desiring the divine and looking for salvation. The, the humanity that always wants to go beyond itself to try to discover what is existing above him. God gave his son because he loved the world and he loved its peoples. And the first reading from the prophet Isaiah presents a time when a Jew and a Gentile will be invited into the new Jerusalem to experience the presence of God and to experience the goodness of God. Now the divine brightness exuding from the newborn will reach out to all the ends of the earth. And like the Magi, the disciples of Jesus will become the touch, touch bearers of the light of Christ, carrying the message of salvation to all peoples who will be baptized into the new people of God, the body of Christ. As Epiphany celebrates the gift of uh, God's Son to the world, it also enables us to learn from his life. Because as I've said, Jesus gives meaning to each life and his presence and love is what brings us comfort, is what brings us meaning. He demonstrates that the ultimate essence of life 
is not to live for ourselves, but to realize that we are one body and we live for one another, showing love and mercy. Now the major brought the gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, whose spiritual symbolisms are very significant. Gold as a symbol to adore royalty, frankincense that was used for temple worship, showing Jesus' priesthood, and myrrh, a spice or a balm for preparing bodies for burial, representing Jesus' burial. It was also used as a herb mixed with olive oil to produce chrism to anoint kings. And so the gifts are depicting Jesus as king, as priest, and as savior. Today, Jesus is revealed as light of the world. Do you realize it is best for you to follow this light as you journey through life? With determination, the major followed the star to Jesus. With similar resolve, my dear friends, and without hesitation, let us look for the star and follow it to our Lord Jesus Christ. For me, I think whenever you see a church building, you see a star, a star that will bring you to Jesus. And when you enter, that we have entered this morning, and the consecrated host is raised at mass, as well as each time you go before the sacrament at adoration, we must see ourselves engulfed by the light of Christ, which will lead us through this life. Amen. Amen. Let us now profess our faith together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My dear friends, God's love calls all peoples to share in the divine life. We speak for our needs and those of every creature. For, for Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, who preached that God is love and that we are saved in hope, may God may know God's love forever in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the repose of the soul of Bonnie Hamilton and God's loving care of the Hamilton family, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all people of God seek the Christ child with diligence and worship him with generous hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That the leaders of nations recognize the truth of the gospel and serve their people with justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those living in the darkness of violence, poverty, and corruption find the light of peace, abundance, and long-lived justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That believers have freedom to practice their faith and all religious persecution to end. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who gather at this table welcome immigrants, joyfully recognizing and valuing their gifts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we support Pope Francis, Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin, presiding Bishop Michael, Bishops Barry and Susan, Monsignor Raphael, Father Mario, and Deacon Gary, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear Lord. our prayer. That God answers the special needs and concerns of this congregation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Radiant and just God, as you guided the Magi from the east to Bethlehem, guide us in the light of your ways and keep us always with you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. My dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Lord our God, look with favor, we pray, on these gifts of your church, in which are offered now not gold or frankincense or myrrh, but he who by them is proclaimed, sacrificed, and received. Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is to the right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim.
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending thy your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread to all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Barry our Bishop, the clergy, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her blessed spouse in Joseph, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, you may merit to be co-heirs with eternal life and may glory, praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And now, my dear friends, at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, and thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. 
And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us now offer each other the sign of God's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lord Jesus Christ, it is with faith in your love and mercy that we take your body. We thank you for giving yourself to us this morning. Let this gift not bring us condemnation, but health in mind and body. And now, my dear friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you have done on my roof, but only say the word of my soul. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us everlasting life. act of spiritual communion for those watching at home. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot be at this moment, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Proclaim. 
We have seen his star in the east and have come with gifts to adore him. Let us pray. Lord our God, go before us with heavenly light, always and everywhere, that we may perceive with clear sight and revere with true affection the mystery in which you have willed us to participate. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who has called you out of darkness into his wonderful light, pour out in kindness his blessings upon you and make your heart firm in faith, in hope, and charity. Amen. Amen. And since in all confidence you follow Christ, who today appeared in the world as light shining in darkness, may God make you to the light for your brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. And so, when your pilgrimage is ended, may you come to him, whom the major sought as they follow the star, and whom they found with great joy the light from light, who is Christ the Lord. Amen. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you, remain with you now and forever. Amen. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in the peace of the Lord. So when, when I'm not speaking, I'll be wearing a mask. I'm not symptomatic or anything like that. It's just a precaution. Uh, uh, it actually makes me feel a little safer myself. So, uh, so that's what I'm going to be doing that. Um, let's see here. And thank you. Thank you for playing the music for us. Uh, thank you very much. It is very much. Uh, <laughs> thank you for answering the call of duty. Very much so. En el nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Uh, blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be His kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Uh, one second, one second. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, so so I, I, I first do a, do a call first, and then we go to the... That's okay, that's okay. Don't worry about it. We are professionals. We, we, we have this. We have this. We have this. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known. And from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 
Because the Lord be with you. And also with you. Oremos. Let us pray. Father in heaven, who at the baptism of Jesus in the river Jordan is proclaimed him by thy beloved Son, anoint him with the Holy Spirit. Grant that all who are baptized into his name may keep the covenant they have made and boldly confess him as Lord and Savior, who with thee and the same Holy Spirit liveth and reigneth, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. Hit it. Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observe his star is rising, have come to play him homage. But King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired then where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophets. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and, digitally, go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there, ahead of them, went the star that they had seen at his rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. El Evangelio del Señor, the Gospel of the Lord. Buenos dias, good morning. As I was listening to, uh, to Monsignor Rafael's uh, homily, especially when he was talking about the, the wise men, uh, it reminded me of a couple of things. Number one, um, I would have, I, I, I have shared this with some of you, uh, maybe some, some of you don't know online, uh, yeah, maybe even from Puerto Rico, uh, the, the epiphany, the three wise men, or, or uh, Los Tres Reyes Magos, the Three Kings Day, is very important in Puerto Rico as well. And kids actually get gifts not only in Christmas, but also in the, in the, uh, in the Three Wise Men Day. So the, the night before, what I would have done is I would have, put, I, I would have taken a, a shoebox. I would have filled up the grass and put it underneath my, underneath my father's, uh, on my, my parents' bed. And then when I wake up in the morning, the grass is gone and there are gifts underneath the, <laughs> underneath the bed. And that's something that I, that I, that I have uh, very, very fun, fun, fun memories. Uh, and yet, it is, it, I, I like how, how uh, in his homily he mentioned uh, the baptism of, of, of Jesus by John because I actually, that's where I want to concentrate my homily on. In fact, one of the options, I could have read that gospel if I wanted to. So uh, 
So here we go. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, so that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. This I ask in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Spirit of God. Amen. But Jesus answered him, Let it be so now, for it is proper for us in this way to fulfill all righteousness. That would have been uh, the reading from Matthew and that dialogue that Jesus and John have, have, to, have together. Um, here's a question. Did John the Baptist invent baptism? Who invented baptism? Ah, this is the first time I've seen you going like, eh. uh, well, he, see, it gets tricky. It gets tricky because, uh, because first, first, we have to agree on the meaning of baptism first. And what actually is baptism? Now, in the book of Leviticus, God instructed the people of Israel to cleanse themselves using water, uh, for impurities, especially before sacrificing in the temple, right? So ritual cleansing before approaching God was part of Jewish life. In fact, uh, special pools called mikvehs were constructed for this purpose. So the idea of actually going there and, and, getting, and getting this guy to put water on you wasn't completely out of left field. Right? Immersion, immersion in a natural body of water, especially flowing water, was very, could, very be, could very be much part of this ritual of purification. In fact, uh, uh, those archaeological remains of the Smith Best have been uncovered, they go back to the time of Jesus, have been uncovered in Israel and in other ancient Jewish communities. It's important to remember that the Jewish world uh, in first century Judea and Palestine was very diverse, and that goes into the different uh, groups. The Pharisees was a particular group, uh, the, the Sadducees was, was another one. And then, because this goes into John, there is another one in which, uh, called the, the Essenes, which were kind of a renewal movement that lived a very hardcore, ascetic kind of life, right? Um, because the, it, was, it was their way to separate themselves from what they saw as the, you know, the party all the time happening at, at, at Jerusalem and, and all that. So also as a way to respond to the, uh, the oppressive rule by foreign powers at, at this moment from Rome. Um, life in the desert community was in a way, again, uh, where to protest, to protest that, to go against that. The Essenes, the Essenes basically placed a lot of emphasis in what? In purity. In Ritual bathing, and in obedience to God's commandments. Why? To be ready for what? For the coming of the Messiah, right? So it, it, was, it was very much of that. And, the, uh, and of course, the ruins at, what, at Qumran, which is the area, and if you want to know more about Qumran, I can, we, that's, another, that's another homily or Christian formation, uh, included those pools for ritual in, uh, immersion. We, we're not sure we, it's, it's possible that John was a member of this community or a similar community. You know, the whole thing about him dressing in, you know, in camel stuff and eating, you know, eating uh, grasshoppers or locusts, that's pretty hardcore. We, again, we think, we think that John could have been a member of the, of the Essene. Uh, and like, uh, and like the Essenes, and maybe like John, there's also Jesus, another, another man, another Jewish man, who is, uh, who's, very, who's doing what? He's doing a renewal, right? A renewal in Judaism. And people are, are moved by the words and deeds of an example of a holy man, in this case, John. For us, picture a revival meeting. I don't know if you've ever been to one, to one of those. Picture a revival meeting, maybe down by the river, right? Folks going to the water, proclaiming the renewal of their faith, emerging clean to encounter God, right? A popular movement, right? From the grassroots, I guess what uh, they saw as what? As a corruption of religious uh, structures and leaders, which in my, which include me, unfortunately, and, and Monsignor and, and all of us here. Uh, but but that, that, that was definitely not much part of it. We're not sure, it has been speculated that Jesus was a follower of John, but what it is important to keep in mind is that it looks like he heard about John because he traveled all the way from Galilee to the Judean desert. That's not, uh, that's not, that's not like going, walking here to Wawa, right? That's a long way. So he went all the way from Galilee, go to the Judean desert, and looks for John. 
right? In the, in the Gospels, in the so-called three synoptic Gospels, Mark, Matthew, and Luke, there is a version of the story of the baptism of John, but Matthew has a few different things. One, in Mark and Luke, when the Holy Spirit is descending uh, on Jesus, uh, you hear, you are my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. In Matthew, it says, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Another difference is that we have a dialogue. We have, uh, it is from Matthew that we have this dialogue between Jesus and John, right? And part of that dialogue is that John goes like, tells Jesus, whoa, 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 how can I baptize you? You should be baptizing me, right? And the response, but Jesus answered him, let it be so, let it be so now, for it is proper for us in this way to fulfill what? To fulfill all righteousness. To fulfill all righteousness. The concept of righteousness is very much part of the Gospel of Matthew. Uh, it very much part of the, of the, Jewish, uh, the Jewish tradition. Uh, there is a word um, that, that, that can be translated from righteousness from the Hebrew, which, uh, which can be translated into, into what? Into a righteous person, a righteous person. Um, so if you go to Jewish text, if you go to Deuteronomy, for example, you have that uh, this righteousness has this connotation of giving generously, of, of giving generously to the poor, else given. Just read Deuter Deuteronomy for that. Uh, any loving, by extension, any loving act. In some traditions of, uh, of rabbinic traditions, it is very much, it's very much this, this concept of righteousness, it is very much at the heart of the commandments themselves, right? And the one who gives righteousness fills the world with Kindness fills the world with kindness. Uh, if you go to Matthew, what happens? Joseph, you got Joseph, who is a righteous man. He's resolved to divorce Mary quietly, right? He says righteous man uh, because he didn't want to create a scandal. Remember, remember, remember that. Also, of, uh, uh, Jesus' Sermon on the Mount is very, is very much this concept of righteousness. Um, because it is very much about what? About living in a right relationship with God and others, right? So speaking about Deuteronomy, when you reap your harvest in your field and forget a sheaf in the field, you shall not go back to get it. It shall be left for the alien, the orphan, and the widow, so that the Lord your God may bless you in all your undertakings. When you beat your olive trees, do not strip what is left. It shall be left for the alien, the orphan, and the widow. Right? Once we fully face this, then we can start to understand what Jesus says in Matthew later in chapter 5. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish but to fulfill. There's a word fulfill. And what does, and what does Jesus say to, to John? Fulfill all righteousness. Fulfill all righteousness. My friends, this, uh, this, this acclamation of Jesus, uh, uh, of the heavenly Abba, the, the, you know, the heavenly Father, um, this is my beloved son in, in, whom I well, in whom I am well pleased, becomes so powerful because it it gives Jesus what? It gives Jesus that loving encouragement to go through his own baptism, which we know is going to lead to the cross. And of course, resurrection. When we, you and me, online as well, when we follow Jesus in our own baptism, we also begin with the encouragement from the voice from heaven that we are beloved of God. That we are beloved of God. We are invited by love to enter the cleansing water so as to participate in the affirming love of God, in a love that will sustain us today and by God's will tomorrow. Righteousness indeed. Amen. Right. Not 
yet. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, hey, 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 you know, you know, it's, it's like, Mike, you know, it's, it's like musicians, right? You, you know, you know, I mean, you can have Eric Clapton and, and you know, and, and uh, Didier Baker have some mistakes too, that's fine, that's fine. For those following at home, those were two, those are two super musicians uh, from a band called Cream, if you're following, if you're following at home. I'm such a geek. The words of the Nicene Creed, we believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate in the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and whose kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Praise of the faithful, praise of the people. After each petition, please respond. Hear our prayer. Pray for the church, for an end to divisions among Christians, that God inspire us to continue our quest for Christian unity. Pray that all may be one. Hear our prayer. Pray for peace, for goodwill among nations and that all people be treated with dignity and respect. Hear our prayer. Pray for our bishops, our clergy, our staff, and our lay ministers. Hear our prayer. Pray for the poor, the sick, the hungry, and the suffering. Hear our prayer. Pray for all who have died. Apologies, I just got lost here. Let us pray for the special needs and concerns of this congregation. Hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray that our society can heal this problem with where a six-year-old child can get a handgun and do anything with it. Um, just something needs to happen. Hear our prayer. I pray for the eternal rest of Bonnie Hamilton. I will be saying more later. May the Lord be shining upon her. Almighty and eternal God, ruler of all things in heaven and earth, mercifully accept the prayers of your people and strengthen us to do your will, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbors. No, oh, wait, 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 wait. No need to rush. Let us, let us take a moment to get ready first, and then we'll say the words, okay? Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you 
in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Almighty God, have mercy on you, for he your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. La paz del Señor, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us offer you something the sign of peace. If you are online, type some words of peace. La paz del Señor. La paz del Señor, la paz de Cristo. La paz del Señor. La paz de Cristo. La paz del Señor. La paz de Cristo. La paz de Cristo. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us an offering and sacrifice to God. Please be seated. right and a good and a joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, because you gave Jesus Christ, your only Son, to be born for us, who, by the mighty power of the Holy Spirit, was made perfect man of the flesh of the Virgin Mary, so that we might be delivered from the bondage of sin and receive power to become your children. Therefore, we praise you. And in our voices, the angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name.
infinite love you made us for yourself. And when we have fallen into sin, become subject to evil and death. You, in your mercy, sent Jesucristo, Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share a human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take, eat. This is my cuerpo, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. Esta es mi sangre. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Father, in his sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you this gift, <coughs> sanctified him by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us to St. John the Baptist and all your saints into the joy of your, of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask by your song, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. By him, and with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Christ has taught us we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we do those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy kingdom, power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Mi Señor, mi Dios, my Lord and my God. Alleluia, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. Los dones de Dios, the gifts of God for you, the people. prayer of spiritual communion for those at home. Lord Jesus Christ, I believe that you are truly present in the blessed sacrament of the altar. 
I desire to offer you praise and thanksgiving as I proclaim your resurrection. I love you above all things and long for you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you in the sacrament of your body and blood, come spiritually into my heart. Cleanse and strengthen me with your grace, Lord Jesus Christ. And let me never be separated from you. May I live in you and you in me in this life in, and in the life to come. Amen. I forgot, sorry, I forgot to mention that I, would, I wanted them to give communion, just in case. Just being safe, just being safe. Just, and just because a priest is not giving you communion doesn't make it less communion. <laughs> if, if it did, there's a problem with me, okay? Oremos, let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now to the world of peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you, gladness and singleness of heart. Through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Thank you to our visitor, uh, Patricia Spottle, for her assistance with today's music. Happy birthday this week to Colette Lowe, Ann Martin, and Dylan Perez. We will be celebrating January birthdays and anniversaries today after the liturgies. Join us in the fellowship hall for cake. We invite you to join the Plarn group on Thursdays from 9 to 11 a.m. The Plarn group needs plastic grocery bags. If you have ba bags to donate, please li leave them on the table in the nursery. Are there any other announcements? I have For a few and then... Okay. The last Sunday of January, we're going back to Monte Key. So next week we'll have a sign up in the hall. And I would suggest that you bring members of your family or your neighbors because those of us who've been there know the food is wonderful. The staff is great. They know us by name. They know what we eat, what we drink. Um, so look forward to it. The last Sunday of the month at Monte Key. Excellent. A quick announcement about our tree planting day that's planned for next Saturday. Um, this week there'll be some activity, there'll be some mulch delivery either Thursday or Friday, and they're going to do a lot of the heavy work involved with setting up the tree spots where we're planting them, and they're going to bring in an auger and drill those holes. So the work that we'll do if you want to come help and, and volunteer is really just moving mulch and things like that, um, and there'll be a pretty big group 20 or so people so far uh, to help out. But again, that's for our property and the property next door. So um, see me if you have any questions, if you'd like to help out. What time? Uh, 9 a.m. to noon is the on Saturday. And if it rains, then the rain date will be the same time on Monday. So. Anybody else? Yes, please. Anybody else? As I mentioned before, uh, Bonnie Hamilton passed away on December 26. Uh, Bonnie and her husband, Col Dr. Colin Hamilton, were beloved members of our church. Um, Colin is currently living in a memory care facility in Atlanta uh, near his sons, Scott and Trevor. There is no funeral service scheduled at this time. However, of course, we ask you to pray for the Hamilton family. So please, please pray for the Hamilton family. And I want to thank you for your prayers also for, uh, for me and my family as we went through, you know, through the, the RSV of Thomas and, and COVID and all sorts of things. And, and if you would have a, a speaker in my house, it would have been cough, 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 cough. So I want to say thank you for your, thank you for your prayers. Thank you uh, for, for that. And, if, and of course, if any, if any of you know somebody that's sick, uh, uh, you know, we send our prayers to them, to them as well. Did we miss anything? Did we miss anything that we need to say? Can you think of anything? No? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. In that case, please rise. La paz de Dios, the peace of God that passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God. And of his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Y la bendición del Padre Todopoderoso, Padre, Hijo, Espíritu Santo, the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you, remain with you always. Amen. Amen.
Go in peace. To love and serve the Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. 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 Alleluia.